I was calling in reference to a insurance claim that we had uh, about four or five months ago. Uh, we had some roof damage due to the weather. Mm-hmm. Well, three months ago, you know, the storm that came through and it damaged the roof again total. And what has happened is the insurance company has agreed to pay part of the roof, but not the total roof like they did four or five months ago. Yeah. Well, let me let me just ask you this: Did they did they set up a separate claim for the subsequent damage? I'm sorry. Will you repeat that again? Did they set up a separate claim for the subsequent damage? No. Yeah, when the, on the on the other storm, uh, we have a case. No, where, they did not. Yeah, we have a case very very similar to what you're talking about in the office now, and uh, what mm-hmm. you, what you have to do is you give them a 10 day notice uh, to pay for the full uh, cost of the replacement of the roof. If they don't um, do it, then you go ahead and file suit against them. Uh, Reed and I have, have done a lot of claims in the last couple of years involving these smaller claims where insurance companies are not treating people fair and uh, they delay, delay, delay until you give up and agree to accept something less than what you're entitled to. Uh, And the only thing to do is just to go ahead and file the lawsuit, get a hearing as soon as possible, and get it resolved. These types of claims generally are are involved less than $15,000. You can file it in the magistrate's court, and the magistrate court judges are very good about setting early hearings.